This video is sponsored by Advix. With over 30 years of OE expertise, Advix engineers and manufactures the aftermarket's most advanced, ultra-premium brake products. Visit AdvixAftermarket.com to learn more. If you ever want to impress your friends or coworkers, tell them about the Equilibrium Reflux Boiling Point and its importance in selecting a high-quality brake fluid. If they look at you with a blank stare, just explain that the Equilibrium Reflux Boiling Point, or ERBP, is just the technical term for determining if a brake fluid has what it takes to stand up to the high temperatures produced during the braking process. Before a brake fluid hits the market, it must be tested to meet certain ERBP values that are spelled out in the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards, specifically Part 571, Number 116. Let's dig into this a little deeper and why it matters to your customers. In a previous video, we talked about the wet boiling point and dry boiling point. If you want to get technical and impress your friends, the dry boiling point is the dry equilibrium reflux boiling point, or dry ERBP, while the wet boiling point is the wet ERBP. But for the sake of simplicity, we'll just say wet boiling point and dry boiling point. The dry boiling point is the temperature at which fresh brake fluid from an unopened container will boil. The wet boiling point refers to the temperature that brake fluid will boil after it has absorbed 3.7% water by volume. Glycol-based DOT3, DOT4, and DOT5.1 brake fluids are hygroscopic, which means they absorb moisture. This is a key point because the moisture content in brake fluid is directly related to a decrease in the brake fluid's boiling point. In other words, the higher the moisture content, the lower the boiling point. Brake fluid is essentially hydraulic fluid, and its primary role is to transfer force applied at the pedal to the caliper or cylinder at the wheel. A high boiling point is critical for enabling the fluid to transmit that force through all the relevant parts of the braking system without boiling and forming gas bubbles. Gas bubbles will impede that hydraulic pressure from being transmitted, potentially leading to brake system failure. Here's the bottom line. When you're recommending brake fluid for your customers, a higher wet boiling point means better braking performance at a safer vehicle. Advix recently introduced two brake fluid formulations that boast the highest wet and dry boiling points in the industry, according to the company. The DOT3 formulation has a wet boiling point of 307 degrees Fahrenheit and a dry boiling point of 500 degrees, while the DOT4 LV has a wet boiling point of 355 degrees Fahrenheit and a dry boiling point of 510 degrees. All of these boiling points exceed the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards as well as competitive benchmarks. In the next video, we'll discuss viscosity and why that's another important consideration when choosing a brake fluid. Thanks for watching.